My name is Yuri Milner. Last year, Professor Hawking and I, along with other colleagues, launched Breakthrough Initiatives, a program of research and innovation exploring the questions of life in the universe. We announced today that uh, it is sort of for the first time um, possible to think about building a uh, spaceship which will be able to travel not only inside the solar system but also between the stars. For that to happen, uh, a few major technological developments needed to happen in the last 10-15 years. And a uh, slightly counterintuitive feature of this project is that you, you should make the spaceship very small. You actually need to send a small robot, something like this. This is sort of the first model of uh, how it will look like. I think it will be sort of a similar size. It will probably be quite a bit lighter than this, and it will also have uh, some of the functionality that this uh, little chip doesn't have. Like, for example, it should have the ability to communicate with a laser. It should have the ability to take uh, images and um, take some scientific measurements. What you need in addition to that, you need a few meter sail and you need uh, a very powerful light beamer on the ground to accelerate uh, this uh, sail and the chip to the speeds of about 20% of the speed of light. While launching this project with a $100 million program uh, for the next few years to do a, um, a proof of concept. Well, the first initiative that, again, we've been fortunate to have Mark Zuckerberg to support it, uh, also financially, and then, um, of course, uh, uh, Priscilla Chan, his wife, and the family foundation of Sergey Brin and Anwar Jiki, and then Jack Ma, uh, the founder of Alibaba. So that was the Breakthrough Prize initiative. The second initiative that we have launched together with Stephen Hawking was... Uh, almost a year ago on that day, was to try to find the intelligent life in the universe. In your estimation, what's the probability of finding intelligent alien life in the next 20 years and why? The probability is low. Probably. But the discoveries of the Kepler mission suggest that there are billions of habitable planets in our galaxy alone. And there are at least a hundred billion galaxies in the visible universe. So it seems likely that there are others out there. If we find signs of intelligent alien life, what should we do next? We should hope that they don't find us. I think it's important because it has the potential to open and cross the new frontier. I think we, you know, as human beings, have been crossing various frontiers in the last couple dozen thousands of years. And uh, I think it's only natural if uh, uh, we will think about uh, crossing this one. In, uh, in the lifetime of a generation.